What is up guys, Smoins here and welcome back to the land of Arcadia. We are back on our island. Last episode we created this using the Witchery mod. It is a altar which currently has nothing on it. It's just got 922 power and we need to do something with this and that's what we're going to do this episode. Lots of people suggested voodoo but I'm going to leave that till next episode because as I said in the previous episode I want to make a broom to fly on and that is quite a complicated and long process and it actually involves circle magic. So we're going to do some circle magic and get started on that. So first, my altar at the moment is pretty poopy. There's nothing amazing about it. We need to upgrade this thing. So there's one thing we can make to upgrade it and that is a chalice. And the other thing that upgrades it is also a skull head. So we might have to go kill some skeletons to try and find a skull head because I don't think I already have one. And it looks like no, I don't have one. Now off camera, I made some more mutant. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, that was so close. Where did he come from? That was ridiculous. Thank you, goodbye. So off camera I made lots of mutandis, so we're going to make some more saplings here quickly because we need to find a few things. I'm just going to use all my saplings and all this up and see what we get. Okay, this is one thing we need, but we actually have to use shears on this. I think it's called swamp something. Let me find it. Okay, we got some Spanish moss. That's one thing. Okay, that's new. What's that? Rowan sapling. Oh no, we had that last episode. Okay, we got something new. What's this? Alder sapling. Okay. Oh, this looks new. I think this is something I need. Hawthorn sapling. Yes, that's what we need to make our broom. So we can plant that and get some more out of that. But let's just keep going. Oh, we got another hawthorn. Nice. Okay, so we got ourselves an alder sapling, two hawthorn saplings, two rowan saplings, and some Spanish moss as well. And I think we need that for the voodoo, so I'm going to hang on to that. And then I'm going to plant all these saplings and bone meal them. I'm actually going to knock down my rowan sapling tree from last time because I planted quite a few of these around the island so I'm just going to knock this one down using this mod and we'll get all the the lovely jubblies back. Nice. And we've got loads of those saplings so I think we're pretty good for rowing saplings for now. But here are the new ones. We've got an alder sapling here so let's just bone mill this one. And hope. There we go. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so let's knock this down as well. Whoa, we got loads of those saplings. So that's probably enough again. And then Hawthorn, this is the one that I want because this is what you make the broom out of. So I'm going to plant one of them and bone mill it. We should get a Hawthorn tree. There we go, huge, wow. And let's cut that down. Huh, what the heck? There's an Ent. What? Whoa, what the heck? I was not expecting that. Oh my god. What? Look at it. <laughs> it looks funny. <laughs> Ow. Blooming heck. Is that going to be on my island now? I think it's disappeared, which is good, because that was quite scary. Okay, so to create our chalice to power our thingamajiggy, magic table, we need to use these rowan saplings in our witcher when we made last time. So if we put these in here, and hopefully we should get a whiff of magic, I believe it's called. There we go, a whiff of magic. So let's take that, because we're going to need that right now. So we're going to need that, and we're also going to need a few other things, so we're going to need a bucket. And we have to go collect some lava, so let's head into a cave. I believe there was one that ran off over here. Whoa, what is this thing? Mana elemental, what the heck? Did it drop anything? No, just weird. Okay, well, there seems to be a light over here. That's lava right there. Okay, can I grab some of this, please? There we go, we got a bucket of lava. So what we have to make is an attuned stone and we do that by getting a lava bucket, a piece of diamond and what did we just collect? make earlier? Whiff of magic. There we go. And we get an attuned stone and this is what we use to make our chalice. So let me just get my gold out of my chest. Okay, then we need to make a chalice which you do by getting ingots like that, getting your two four gold ingots, two gold nuggets. Oh, that's wrong. I said those were wrong around. And you get a chalice like this. And it's very nice, it's very pretty. It's got like rubies around the edge. Well, actually, no, it's attuned stones around the edge. And then we can place this on our table, I believe. I think you shift click it, there we go. And then there you go, that boosts the power of our altar quite a lot. So, our next process in making the enchanted broom is going to be a kettle we need to build. So, first off, you need to build a cauldron, which I can do by using these and making a cauldron like so. And then we have to go get some more lava again, so let's go get our bucket of lava again. I'll head off and get that. 
There we go, nice little slash back command, and we get here, and we can get all our lava. Online cheats really there, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, we should get another whiff of magic, so let's go get that from downstairs. And then we have to make another attuned stone. Where's that whiff of magic? There it is. And we get another attuned stone. And then simply, all we need now is some sticks and some string, which is there. And then you put your two sticks there. You get three bits of string, place them there. Our attuned stone and then the cauldron underneath it and we get a kettle. So I need to go and borrow someone's nether portal and I think Scott has one. So I'm going to go borrow Scott's quickly. I believe this is a nether portal. I hope it is, Scott. If it's not, then I'm going somewhere weird. But let's find out. My Minecraft cross, but this is the nether. So I'm just going to pick up some nether rack quickly and then we're going to head back. Then we're going to need to make ourselves a flint and steel. Fairly simple, which I've messed up somehow. How do you do this? There it is. And we're going to get our bit of nether rack. And we'll put this downstairs. And now we just have to pray that this doesn't set anything else on fire. I hope it doesn't. And then we can hang our kettle above it like that. It looks a bit silly. And now I've only got one bit of cobblestone. Oh well. Okay, so I just went and collected loads of random stuff off screen because I wanted a lot of these attuned stones because you need them a lot. So I just went and made a mass amount of them. And uh, we're going to build something else now. It's another piece of machinery. And what you have to do to build this is it's this and this. And then you get two gold bars along the bottom here. And you want your attuned stone there. And then you want two clay jars here. And we get a distillery, which is another tool for the witchery mod, which we can place downstairs in our little basement. Oh good, that didn't burn anything down, that's good. We can place this here, and now we have a distillery. Okay, so we can turn our wood ash into some quicklime, because we're going to need this for the distillery, because we need to make a few things. And this bit's fairly easy, all we need are some clay jars, and we need some wood. And we have lots of logs if we look in here because we have destroyed lots of things. We've got some clay jars left over still from last time. Because then we're going to use our witch's oven as seen here and place that in there and place some clay jars in here and we are hoping to get a foul fume. I'll take those out and leave that in there. Oh, first time. There we go. And some charcoal. I'll destroy that now. So we've got a foul fume and we've got our quick lime and then we need to use our distillery and we're going to put the clay jar at the bottom. And then we're going to put a quick lime in there. And we're going to put our foul fume in there. Okay, never mind. You can't put this down here. We need to put this down uh, uh, upstairs. So let me just destroy this and take it with me. It needs to be near our altar to function. So I'm going to go place it near our altar. So let's place it just there, I guess. And then we place all the stuff back in. And there we go. We're distilling. It's using the energy from the altar. And what we're trying to get out of this is some gypsum, it is called. So after the bars reach here, we shall have some gypsum. So there we go. We've got a slime ball, some gypsum, and oil of vitrulli. And we need to do this again. So we're going to have to go get some more stuff, I've just realized. And while that is brewing upstairs, we're just going to use our witch's oven with some birch saplings and... Oh, I've got the clay jars. They're upstairs. So we need to get ourselves some breath of the goddess. So hopefully we should get that soon. It's just by using birch saplings. And I've run out of coal. Put some more coal in there. And hopefully we should get that soon. This one, fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bang. No, okay. There we go, Breath of the Goddess. We can take those out of there now and get our wood ash. Okay, because what we're going to need to make next is another person using the distillery. And we need some lapis, actually. So let me just grab some lapis out of there. We're going to need one bit of lapis. I don't know why I took all of these. And that should have made all our stuff. Yes, we've got some more gypsum, slime bowl, and that. I'm going to throw away some stuff quickly. Okay, and then we're going to make our second lot of potions by using the Breath of the Goddess there. And then we also put in Breath of the Goddess there, some Lapis there, and a Clay Jar there. And we should have that start distilling. Oh, I think you need more jars. There we go, it's working. And there's only one thing we really need out of this. And that is Tear of the Goddess. Oh, we've got some Whiff of Magic and some Foul Fume Black from that. Oh, I could have used that before. So we've got our Tear of the Goddess. Because we need to use this and a crafting table. And we make something very cool. That at the top. And then we get our Wood Ash. And we go all the way down the side there. All the way side there. And get our Gypsum. 
and we get some ritual chalk. And we get two bits of chalk, so we need to make one into golden chalk. So to do that, we need some redstone, some yellow dye. There's some yellow dye. We need some redstone as well. And gold ingots, which we have. Nice. So, and then we put our three gold ingots across there. Our piece of chalk in the middle. A bit of redstone underneath it. And then... Oh, we need four bits of yellow dye. Poop. All the dyes. Okay, so let's do that again. Redstone. That there. Chalk in the middle. And then three gold ingots across the top. And we get a bit of golden chalk. And there it is. And... Let's go place this in front of our altar. And we're going to be doing it at this side, so... We place this, it should go just there. And then what we're going to do with the white chalk is we're going to want to make a circle around the outside. And then an even bigger circle around the outside of this. Oh, do you mind, Mr. Zombie? Okay, then we need to make an even big... Oh, we dropped a chain chest piece. Okay, then we need to make an even bigger circle around the outside of this. Okay, there we go. So we've got our circle surrounding our altar now. Okay, so there's still more steps to go to make this blooming broom. So we need to get our hawthorns out, which I placed in the chest over here. I'm also going to need some flowers that I think I have some of. They're like pinky. I think they're belladonnas, they're called. Yep, yeah, I've got loads of those. There we go. We're also going to need a book. Um, book. And we're also going to need a feather, which I have over here somewhere. Hey up, guys. Oof, give me a feather. Oof, give me a feather. Do I pick a feather up? Three feathers, nice. Finally, gonna need an ink sack. Now, let's go use our Hawthorns down here, because we need to make a special type of potion. I need to save three, so I'll use four in there. And hope that I get one of these potions. It's called an odor of purity. Okay, so then we put all the things I described earlier together like this, and we actually get a witchcraft bruise and st what did it say? Bruise and infusions book. And we need to look through this, and one thing we have to make. So here's what we have to make: we have to make a flying ointment. So we need redstone soup, potion of swiftness, diamond feather, wool of bat, belladonna flower, blooming heck, all that stuff. What is up guys, welcome to 1v1 We On Wet. Each week I go head to head against my girlfriend Lizzie to see who is the better gamer.